there friends, it's Ashley here from the Loopy Lamb and LoopyLamb.com and thanks so much for stopping by the channel. Today we are working on week 7 of our Amigurumi Advent Calendar Crochet Along and today we're going to be making overalls for our dolls. So to follow along with today's tutorial you're going to need your worsted weight yarn in your two preferred colors. I'm using Brava worsted weight in the color denim and dove heather today. You'll need two 9mm buttons, you'll need a pair of scissors, a tapestry needle, a stitch marker, some thread and a needle, and a 3.5mm or E crochet hook. And this is a Furls Odyssey crochet hook from Furls Crochet. So um, if you're ready to get started, please hit that like button and consider subscribing to this channel. And let me clear my workspace and we'll get started on working on our overalls. Alright, so we are ready to start with our overalls. And our overalls are done by creating two pant legs. And then once the pant legs are done, we will join them at the top. And then we will continue to work our project uh, from there. And then the front bib, front bib and the back bib are then uh, added on. And then we will add our buttons. So you're going to need your worsted weight yarn in the color that you've chosen for your overalls. I'm using the color denim here from uh, Brava Worsted. And I have started with a chain of 20. Okay, so chain 20. And once I've done my chain, I'm going to take care not to twist it. And I'm going to join the last stitch to the first stitch with a slip stitch. Now, if you have a stitch marker handy, this is very helpful in helping to mark the last chain or, and or stitch of each round to make sure that you're not inadvertently adding or losing stitches as you continue to work back and forth in turned rounds for this project. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just place one single crochet into each stitch around. If you'd like, you can crochet over that tail. Now you also have the option if you don't want to work under both loops, if you would like a cleaner edge on the bottom of your overalls, you can turn that chain around and find the back bumps of each chain and work into the back bumps of the chain to create a bit of a cleaner look along the end of your pant leg. But do whatever you feel the most comfortable with. And as I said, we're just placing one single crochet into each chain around. You should have 20 stitches at the end. The slip stitches do not count as stitches in your stitch counts. Now that I'm at the end of row one, I'm going to place a slip stitch from into the first stitch here. So insert hook, yarn over, pull up a loop and pull that loop through the loop on your hook and now I'm going to chain up one. Now if you're going to be using that stitch marker you're going to place that stitch marker now in the first stitch of the round because for round two it's going to become the last stitch of the round because I'm going to turn my work now. And for row two we're going to do the same thing we're just going to place one single crochet into each stitch around and then we will join with a slip stitch at the top uh, into the first stitch of the round to join. Now I'm chaining up one and turning my work and now for rounds three through 16 I'm going to repeat what I just did. I'm going to chain up one, turn my work at the end of each round and then I'm going to place one single crochet into each stitch around. Then when I will join my first stitch to my last stitch with a slip stitch I'll chain up one and turn. Now you are going to need to create two pant legs. So once you've done rounds three through 16 for this, I want you to finish off and then rewind the instructions and go back and watch them again and do a second pant leg. But when you get to round 16 of your second pant leg, don't finish off. Keep the yarn attached and I'll show you here. This is what you should have prepared for our step two. So this is my first pant leg here. I've finished off and cut my yarn and then I have my second pant leg here. They're the exact same size, 
same amount of rows. And I still have my ball of yarn attached to that. Okay, so if you'd like to pause your video, come back to me when you are ready to start with the next step of our overalls that will begin round 17 when you are ready. All right, so we are back. We're getting ready to start with round 17. At this point, you should have two pant legs, one that is has been finished off and cut off the yarn and another that is still attached to the yarn. The one that has been finished off, we will be refer referring to as pant leg one, and the one attached to the working yarn will be referred to as pant leg two. Now that I've finished with my last round, I'm going to turn my work. Oops, I already did that. And then I'm going to chain up two to start the round. And then I'm going to find the last stitch of the round in pant leg one and I'm going to single crochet into that stitch to join our pant legs. Now we're going to take a stitch marker and we're going to place a stitch marker into the chains, here, the second chain here. And now we are going to place one single crochet into each stitch around the top of pant leg one. So now that I have single crocheted into each stitch around, I am going to work into those chains. And because I have placed a stitch marker in that uh, second chain here, I can find them relatively easily, but it is going to get in my way. So I'm going to move that out of the way here, and I'm going to place one single crochet into each of those chains. And now that I'm done with my stitches, I'm going to make sure that I put that stitch marker back into the other side of the chain because that's going to be the first stitch of our, round, our rounds moving forward. So I need to make sure that that is marked. And now we're going to work one single crochet into the top of each stitch around leg two. And at the end of this, we're going to make sure we have 44 stitches because with those slip stitches in the seams, it can be tricky um, and you might add or lose stitches. So just take a moment at the very end of this to make sure that you mark your uh, count your stitches and that you do have 44 stitches. So we're at the end of our round here. And what we're going to do is we're going to single crochet into the first chain that we created in this round. And then we're going to join into the chain with a slip stitch. Okay, keep that stitch marker there. And we're going to chain one and turn our work. And now we are getting ready to start with round 18 of our overalls. And I've chained up one and turned my work and we're just going to place one single crochet into each stitch around. Now because our the first chain of our chain two at the beginning of the previous round did count as a stitch, make sure that your last stitch of this round goes into that chain. And then you'll slip stitch into the first stitch of the round chain one and turn your work. If you'd like to meet me back here when you're ready to do round 19, I'll be here when you're ready. So we are getting ready to start with rounds 19 through 22. I've already done a chain one and turned my work and I have a stitch marker in the first stitch I did from the last round. So that way I won't lose that every time I do a slip stitch. So for rounds 22, 19 through 22, we're just going to place one single crochet into each stitch around. Your stitch count should not change. You should have 44 stitches for each of those rounds. So if you'd like to pause your video and do rounds 19 through 22 in single crochet, uh, meet me back here when you're ready to do round 23. Okay, so I have finished with rounds 19 through 22, and I'm ready to start with round 23. For round 23, I've already started off with doing a chain one and a turn. And I'm going to start working this round by working one single crochet into the first six stitches. So 
and there's the sixth stitch there. And now I'm going to do a single crochet decrease, and I'm going to do that uh, another invisible decrease here. If you've uh, if you're new and you haven't seen this before, I do have a tutorial on how to do this here on the channel. But I'm just going to do pick up the front loops of the first and second stitch here, and then execute my single crochet as I normally would. Then we're going to single crochet into the next three stitches. And then I'm going to single crochet decrease. Then I will single crochet into each of the next 16 stitches. Now I will do a single crochet decrease. Then I will single crochet in the next three stitches. Now I'll do another single crochet decrease. And now I'll single crochet in each of the remaining eight stitches. And now I will join my last stitch to my first stitch with a slip stitch. Then I'll chain up one and turn my work. For rounds 24 through 28, we're going to place one single crochet into each stitch around and making sure that we are joining at the end of every round with our slip stitch. So if you'd like to pause your video and do rounds 24 through 28, I'll come back and meet you here when it's time to show you how to finish off before starting with the bib. Okay, so I just finished with round 28 of my pants and I'm going to finish off and cut the yarn. And I'm gonna leave that to weave in later. Now we're going to need a couple of stitch markers here and I've already taken the liberty of placing these but I'm going to tell you what I've done. So this blue stitch marker here is the stitch marker that was marking the last stitch of my round so I wouldn't lose it and I'm going to I identified the first stitch of the round and I counted over and placed a marker in the fourth stitch of this round and then I went ahead and I placed a stitch marker in stitch 24 of that round so I counted over four then from four I counted over until 24 and then I placed my markers now we're going to be using the pink and yellow markers here to place the front and back, back bib of our overalls. So you don't need this other stitch marker uh, any longer. You're just gonna need these two, the ones in stitch four and 24. And so we're going to move on now to do the front bib. And to do that, we're going to need to have the wrong side of the fabric facing us. So that means we're going to be facing technically the inside of the pants, and we're going to be attaching our yarn into stitch 24. And so I'm gonna grab my yarn here. And I'm going to attach it to this stitch with a slip stitch. And I'll chain one. And then I'm going to single crochet into the same stitch as the join. Sorry, it's, here. it's hard to see because of this back piece here, but I'll do my best to keep it out of the way. So uh, as I said, I placed one single crochet into the same stitch of my as my join, and then I'm going to single crochet in the next eight stitches. Uh, 
All right, and now I'm going to chain up one and turn my work. And now for rounds two through nine, I'm just going to single crochet across only in those nine stitches. And then when I get to the end of the round, I'll chain up one, turn my work and do it again. So if you'd like to pause your video and come back to me when you're done rounds two through nine of just straight single crochet, I'll show you how to finish this off. Okay, so I just finished with round nine of my bib and I am going to cut my yarn and finish that off. And then I'm going to start working on our back bib. Now, again, we want our wrong side facing us, so that means we're going to turn our work around. We're going to have to fold this out of the way so you can see a little easier. And so we want to be having the inside of the fabric facing us. And we're going to have to attach our yarn where our stitch marker is. And now that I'm attaching that, I can just get rid of that stitch marker. I'm going to attach that, chain up one, and then I'm going to single crochet into the same stitch. Then I'm going to single crochet in the next eight stitches. Now, when you get to this um, seam here where you've slip stitched, you're just going to hop right on over that and single crochet into the next stitch. So don't worry about it too much. Just skip on over it. And so you should have nine stitches now and you'll chain up one and turn your work. And then for rows two through nine, we're going to do the same thing we did with the front bib. We're going to do rows th two through nine in just single crochet. We'll chain up one and turn our work at the end of every row. And then when you come back, uh, if you want to pause the video and come back to me when you're done rows two through nine, I'm going to walk you through row 10, which will create these straps for our overalls. So I'll see you in just a minute. So I just finished with round nine of my back bib. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do a chain 18. So we're going to chain 18 from this point. And I'm going to turn my work. So I'm going to be working back up the chain here. And I'm going to start by slip stitching into the seventh chain from the hook. So I'm going to count over one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. I'm going to slip stitch and I'm going to insert, pull up a loop and pull that loop right through the same loop on my hook. And then I'm going to slip stitch into every chain back up to the bib. And now those skipped stitches that we created here will act as our buttonhole to hold the straps on for our doll's overalls. All right, so now that I have slip stitched all the way back up to my bib, I am going to single crochet in the last stitch of round nine here. And then I'm going to single crochet into the next eight stitches. And now I am going to do another chain 18. And now I will do what I did with the first strap. I'm going to count uh, skip six stitches or chains here one two three four five six then I'm going to slip stitch into that seventh chain and then I'll slip stitch in every chain back up to the bib and now that I'm back to my bib I'm going to slip stitch into the side of the piece I like to go into the base of the last round here and slip stitch and then I'm just going to cut my yarn 
and pull it all the way through. And then I'll just weave in my ends from here. And now if I turn my work around, you can see that we've got a front and back bib. Now you'll need your buttons. I'm just going to grab mine here from off screen and your sewing needle and thread. Or as I've said in previous videos, you can also use your cord, your yarn that you use and just split the plies if you'd like. Um, if you can't find matching thread. And so I'm going to add the buttons. I like to do it between the last two rounds. I'm going to sew those onto the front bib, one on each side. And then once I have got it all done and complete, I'll put it onto my doll and these will act as the little buttonholes and hold it on. It's very, very cute. And I absolutely love these. I created these because a friend of mine has daughters who love dolls and she made my dolls and said, you don't have overalls. Your dolls need overalls. So uh, thanks to her, we have now our Amigurumi Advent Calendar Crochet Along has overalls. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button and please consider subscribing to this channel. If you'd like to join our Crochet Along, uh, I'd love to have you along with us. And you can find the full Crochet Along details as well as the pattern release schedule on my blog, theloopylam.com, along with other free crochet patterns and tutorials. And if you have any comments or questions, again, please leave them in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you. Thanks so much for watching, friends. Happy hooking, and I'll see you next time.